All the February waves that have been broadcasted to the four canals of the earth took seed and grew here, they have not been intended. And so uh, we we said we are going to gain independence. And uh, there were a lot of you know uh, there were a lot of views that you know we can't gain independence like this and independence is not handed over on a silver platter like this. So all these you know you know uh, comment that most people made were like see that were broadcasted. You know, they threw it over the corners of the earth and you know uh, we gained independence for them to see that this thing that they were saying has grew. Mm -hmm. That we said we are going to gain independence. We have to move on. Africa uh, should see themselves as Africa. Mm -hmm. So uh, all these things you know has to happen. We believe Africa unity you know, will be achieved and African posterity, you know, everything we are praying for will come to pass. <laughs> We shall measure our progress by the improvements in the health of our people, by the number of children in school, and by the quality of their education, by the availability of water and electricity in our towns and villages, and by the happiness which our people think in being able to manage their own affairs. So, I think you and I know that, you know, uh, basically this is how progress should be measured. When people have access to this basic I mean, it is you know, like uh, water, electricity, good roads, employment, and this. It shouldn't be only about uh, inflation rate is going down, inflation rate is going up. Uh, whilst we don't feel the impact, you know, but when the people feel the impact of good, you know, health facilities, you know, good roads, and so on, that is how, uh, you know, the living standard of the people improves. Mm -hmm. The coming first of July should not should be not only an historical event of great significance, but also a psychological turning point to our whole attitude to life in Ghana. So as we are celebrating the Republic Day, first July, which has not been moved to far forget, we should remember to change our attitude towards life in Ghana. We must make it clear. We must make it clear that African's problem can only be satisfactorily be solved by Africans and that it is preposterous for anyone to think that such inhuman artificial barriers can be guaranteed as unalterable, we shall alter them by the will of the people. African's problem can be solved by Africans. We are Africans, we have our own problems. So we understand them and that any other person. So African's problem can be solved by Africans. We should forget about the aid and so on, going for IMF for them to be paid for us that solve this problem, solve this problem. We have our own problems. We know what we are facing. So Africans' problem can be solved by Africa. So I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me, this is a popular quote. He made it in you know, he refused a statement of why he was uh, you know fostering for Africa unity. And uh, he is still, you know, sending people to Cuba for uh, you know, uh, education, you know, programs. So he said he, uh, he is more concerned about Africa mm, because in you know, Africa is in him. Mm. Independence must never be considered as an end in itself, but as a stage, the very first stage of the people's revolutionary struggle. You know, we have revolutionary struggles, and independence is just the first stage. Uh, but when we gain independence, we have been relaxing. We think independence is an end in it or after gaining independence, you know, that's all, that's all our problem. But he's saying independence is just the first stage of the revolutionary struggle. We have a lot of independence as we have to do.